Well, anyway, I was going to go for a trike ride, but um, I checked the oil. The oil seemed really low, so I looked around and seen oil leaking out of this. Uh, this is the uh, cap for the uh, oil filter. Yeah, I broke that years ago. It never affected it, but uh, the last time I changed the oil, I didn't change the O-ring. So I'm going to change the O-ring, and uh, yeah, I guess I should uh, somehow glue that back on, but like I said, it's never given me a problem before. So a new O-ring, problem fixed, hopefully. Well, this might be an issue. Uh, there was never missing that little piece there. Maybe that's why it was leaking. Anyway, um, I wish I had some JB Weld or something. Let's uh, try this. For now. I'm obviously going to have to order. It's been too long. I'll just order another uh, cap off of eBay or something. But anyway, for now, let's crazy glue it. I won't put the uh, o-ring on yet till the glue is dry <laughs> and then we'll go put it on the trike and see what happens. Temporary fix. I've got Shelly to help me. Master mechanic Shelly. <laughs> we gorilla glued it together. It's dry. It's holding. I'm worried about that spot. Got her all nice and spiffed up. It worked for years. I can't see why it can't last for another another little bit. Well, I have to say it's a good thing that the battery on my trike was dead when I went to go for a ride. Because I would have just started it and went. So I put it on charge and I decided to check the oil. And I noticed there was barely any oil in it. So. Then I started it. It was coming out of the oil filter cap. So anyway, uh, looks like somebody had painted my engine black before. Guilty. So there's a little bit of black paint in there. So I'm going to clean all that up. This stuff here. Just comes off easy. So I'll grab a razor blade and just clean that up. And then we'll slap it together. Alright, well I got it all put back together. Now it's just a matter of starting it. Yeah, that broken bit, stupid light. That broken bit's this one here. And it seemed like it was leaking from under here a while ago, so... I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, we'll play with it tomorrow. I'm gonna change the uh, air filter too. And the air filter. And I don't feel like cleaning this place up for it. This, well, hopefully we get back to it soon. Well, right on. It looks like I got my GoPro back up and running. Um, I put a new memory card in it. Well, new, new to me, new to the GoPro, I should say. Um, I had this old dash cam. I was just sitting in the drawer and it had the SD card in it. Um, it's got a class 10 in it, so hopefully it lasts. Because this thing, I don't know, it ate two memory cards. They weren't the class 10, so maybe it needs the class 10. We'll see. Um, this dash cam here, if you live where it's cold, I would not recommend it. It does not like the cold. It froze to death. All right, well, I'm going to go for a little ride on the three-wheeler, so let's uh, do that. Good old GoPro. Brand new SD card for it. Let's see if it works in the real world. I was going to put the new air filter in, but uh, I don't have any oil for it. And it's got to sit like for 24 hours after it's been oiled, so hold off on that. So far, it's so good. I think we're good to go. It's 5 degrees Celsius outside right now. Nice and warm. You won't freeze to death, that's for sure. Um, let's go see how bad the slush is.
Okay, well, I'm gonna go around the other way and try it from the other end and see what it's like. I wanted to get some birds for him. I was going to try fishing in those holes. Seems to be no problem. I'm still gonna order another capsule. I'm sure they can't be too expensive. Haha, -ha. these parts are getting hard to find. Anyway, last year after Valentine's Day, there was a bear that was hanging from here. Some of you guys might remember that. But uh, if that bear comes back for Valentine's Day this year, I'm gonna quit Meat Creek. Anyway, just this little guy here blocking me to cross. Oh yeah, I can probably move that, eh? Probably. Probably, maybe. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. 
I know this doesn't go anywhere, but I like to go turn around there. Look who we ran into. A barking dog. Packing down, my nose is blocked. So anyway, I'm, I'm packing down a little trail, a little racetrack, will you say? Check it out. All right. Well, so much for that idea. I should have charged my GoPro. All these other things, I forgot to charge my GoPro. Anyway, I'll take you uh, around the track on my Sony. I'll take you around in a slow motion. Fast motion. Fast motion so yeah, I'll just keep doing that over and over. It keeps going around on the other side. Make a little racetrack. I must be wondering what I'm doing. Like I'm just driving around real slow in this exact same track that I'm creating. All right, a couple more laps and uh, supper time. Yeah, it, it looks a lot uglier than it is. No problem. Steering's a bit of a problem, but it's all good, right? So I made my way to the other side of the bridge here. Um, this is my dilemma. The other side's all clear. I only came here at night, so I didn't really mess around too much. It's either cut that tree right there. I might be able to go around, probably. Kind of tried, but couldn't really see. Might be our way around up there. But I'd like to open up my racetrack again. We'll see. And I tried to come up this way here. I could get over this way, but it's coming back. That might be an issue. See what I mean? I'd do it if I had a buddy with me. Anyway, for now, we're going to leave it. Uh, I have a guy that wants to lend me his uh, buck saw. It's only a 8-inch blade. Should do the trick. That's uh, for another day. Well, there's nothing left but the uh, hill climb here. And we're home. That's all good. Second gear will take care of that real quick. Just 
just going to cook up a couple of steaks. Put mine ahead of time because Shelly likes hers pretty much raw. Perfect. Alright, let's check out my charcoal. The other day I went and bought myself a hydrometer. I want to see how potent my wines are. Um, my prison wine is ready. Um, I snuck into it. It's pretty potent. Um, I don't have time in this video. I will have to play around with the wines in the next video. Anyway, my banana wine, um, I'm going to restrain it. Uh, then I'm going to re-bottle it. But that will be for next video. Anyway, people, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later.